Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com and in this video we're going to be going over something you have never seen in a Downford Sound warehouse before. But first. Alright, so in front of me you may notice this brand. One of the OGs in car audio. Definitely one of the greats. You have to have respect for a company like this. They have crushed it in every way and uh, I found it very inspirational to see what they have been able to do over the years and grow the company to the levels that they have. So um, I saw some pictures coming up of this and I'm like, I really want to see what one of those looks like in person. So we're doing just that. In front of us, we have the Kicker Solo X 12. This is their new, obviously super beefy, SPL oriented subwoofer. So we're gonna be giving you a tour of this and no we're not a dealer for kicker yet. So if you might want us to become a dealer, maybe shoot them a bunch of messages and say, hey, team up with down for sound and see what we can come up with on offering you some awesome kicker products. But anyway, video is not really about that, but I wanted to show you guys this subwoofer because it is awesome looking and no doubt it's gonna perform amazingly as well because kicker is not gonna release a product that is not great and they've done a lot of homework for. Uh, so I can show you the front side of it so I can talk to you about it while I'm showing it to you. So obviously on the front side we have the kicker logo on the top and then the Solo X on the bottom. This is a number, uh, a number 12, <laughs> a 12 inch sub. So on the front side we have um, a mount down or a hold down ring on the, I hate to call it a ring because when you say ring it makes it makes you think it should be circular. But um, this right here where you see these Allen screws on the other side of the Solo X is also around the, uh, the whole sides of the top of the subwoofer. So, uh, these are field reconable, which is very cool. You can uh, do a recone on one of these in the field. So, uh, it's, they really thought through and thought ahead to make it, because they, uh, a lot of people that run SPL run heavy and bass, like they'll, they'll blow stuff at shows. And when you do that, a lot of times like you're out for the show, or even if you try to do a recone at the show, it takes time for the glue to dry. Sometimes it doesn't glue, um, doesn't dry enough fast enough. So it ends up uh, tearing up again. So with this way, uh, you're able to basically bolt in a new recone and be up and going in no time. So anyway, that's what this ring is for. Uh, obviously these screws right here are gonna be holding the uh, top part of the recone down right there. And then these holes around the outside are going to be mounting the subwoofer to your enclosure. So coming up to the uh, surround that we have here, obviously it's not circular like all the ones I've been used to. So it has a nice mid roll surround I would say in between mid and mega roll. Uh, and then in the corners right here, we have these ridges. I'm going to assume this is to help for uh, keep down like crinkling uh, when the subwoofer is really jumping, uh, going to going to full uh, stroke. And uh, that's what I'm, I'm gonna guess that's what that's for. So the dust cap is, I believe it's made out of aluminum uh, from the sounds of it, but it has the Solo X logo on the top right here. So we'll move around to the bottom side of this. If I don't throw it off the table. Um, so it comes with a gasket here for a good seal to your enclosure. So um, that's also a good thing. And it's already applied. Some companies uh, add a gasket or they put one in the box, but you have to like put it on or put it around the box before you install the sub. And sometimes it can get um, like bunched up and not seal properly. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to make sure you can, there's some light in here so you can see. Um, so on the side right here, you're going to see, well, first of all, we're going to, we'll do the basket. Basket's obviously not something that I'm used to seeing. It's a square shape, but it seems plenty rigid enough and thick enough to deal with the size of this subwoofer. So, um, moving on to the, uh, spider landing, if you want to call it that, is obviously different than anything that I have seen because, again, you're able to, if you can see the screws on top of that, your these screw holes right here you're able to uh unscrew this and there's screws on the bottom side of here as well so you're able to unscrew this and change it out in the field up under here you can see how the cone is attached to 
uh, the triple joint right here and also um, I'm not sure what's going on right here it looks like they may combine like two different types of cones again I'm, I'm not super knowledgeable when it comes to kicker subs but you can see like this one looks circular right here and then this part of the cone looks like it's the more square shape so it looks like that's where they mated the uh, square shape to the circular shape uh, but it looks fine it looks good and I'm, I know they've already tested it and everything is gonna be perfectly fine nice glue joint here uh, where the spider meets the triple joint and again we have the model number here is the L7X uh, sorry <laughs> L7X12 this is gonna be I'm assuming a dual one since it has a one right there the push terminals are something different that I have not seen so we have one terminal here for the positive and then one terminal over here for the negative color indicated on the black and the red and also these are going to unscrew so when you do your recone you're going to be able to drop it in there screw it in and be ready to go two different ways of attaching you have uh, your standard terminal here well not super standard because this is square all the ones that I've seen have been a circle uh, and then you have these up here if you want to I guess do direct uh, or run two wires in here different wiring options maybe running the coils running different uh, coil configurations and getting different ohm loads anyway uh, down here the bottom part of the basket you can see obviously it's got a wide open design as well it's going to be awesome in helping keep this thing cool I can't remember the size of the voice coil but I know it's something uh, different we're gonna look that up and I'll tell you about the size of the voice coil um, anyway coming down we have a nice size top plate we have a nice kicker embossed uh, magnet boot right here and then on the back side I got a bunch of dust on it now because I've been moving around on the table but you have the solo X um, logo on the back you have cooling in the back plate as well so overall, looks like a very beefy subwoofer. And like I said, I know Kicker's not gonna release anything that's not gonna be awesome, especially, I think they're, they have these things in the works for years. So it's not like they just thought this up and they're gonna come out with a new SPL sub or whatever, or more base head uh, geared subwoofer. Uh, they thought about it and went through tons of different variations and came out with this. So I know it's gonna be great. So this thing is rated at 2,000 watts RMS, which I know is going to be very conservative. All right, so this uh, subwoofer, and I'm sure everything that comes from Kicker comes with a piece of paper like this. So it's going to have a QR code here for your owner's manual. And there's also a note from the uh, president, CEO, Steve Irby. So we're going to read that real quick. So when you get yours, you'll be able to see this. But anyway, it says, thank you and congratulations on your purchase of the Kicker L7X subwoofer. The L7X reimagines the massive power handling and motor of Kicker's legendary line of L7 Solo X subwoofers with the most up-to-date engineering materials and design concepts. Uh, really quick, if you ever owned a Kicker sub, uh, especially L7s, I think everybody did back in the day. So if you ever have... Uh, drop a comment below let me know which one you had back in the past because those things were game changing at the time so uh, let me know what you had and what you thought of them uh, if you want the absolute best in SPL performance in rock bottom bass look no further than Kicker's award winning pedigree with this celebrated line of subs and remember that the driver is only half the equation without the immense power needed to push these subwoofers you're short changing yourself use these cells with our high powered warhorse amplifiers to get all the low frequency output you are looking for or you could use some down for sound amplifiers shameless plug there uh, but anyway obviously the kicker amps are going to be a great pair with it but if you like down for sound amps it'd be a great pair with it as well and we have uh, amplifiers up to 8300 watts currently the jp83 so no matter what you're looking to do we can get you taken care of on that as well so we're gonna go ahead and scan the QR code and go over what it looks like and some of the technical specs of the subwoofer. So what you would do is you would just come in here and scan like that and then click on this and it'll open up the web page. Uh, so looking at the, let's see, it looks like there's 80 
eight pages if I'm seeing this right. So we'll scroll down through here. We're, again, we're just gonna go over the technical specs. Uh, so it looks like I was incorrect. There's not a 12, 15, and 18. There's a L7X10, uh, 12, and 15. Uh, so let's see, recommended amplifier power RMS is 1000 to 2000 watts on these subwoofers. Obviously looking at the sub, you know that they super underrated these. Um, total magnet weight um, in ounces is 406 ounces. I can't do the math on that super fast, so we're going to carry this over and weigh it. Uh, voice coil diameter is 3.75 inches. Talking about wanting to be different, I've seen three and a three inch voice coils, three and a half inch voice coils, and four inch voice coils, and I think four and a half inch voice coils, but I've never seen 3.75 inch voice coils until today so i'm wanting to do something different with that uh x max linear excursion in millimeters is 31.25 on every one of the drivers it says so from 10s 12s and 15s it says 31.25 um, and then it has the mounting depth of this actually i measured it um, but the mounting depth of the subwoofer on the 10 it's going to be 9 and 7 sixteenths, 10 and 1 eighth on the 12, and then 11 and 9 sixteenths on the L7X15. So we'll just keep scrolling down. It goes through installation, how to do series and parallel wiring, box notes, different box recommendations on this. Uh, it looks like recommended vented box uh, volume for the 10 is 2 cubes, 12 is 3 cubes, and the 15 is 5 cubes, kind of standard on that. So now we'll get into the recon kit uh, and how this goes about uh, happening. So you'll see the screws like right here across the top. You'll unscrew those and then uh, this ring comes off, we're going to call it, uh, oh sorry. Remove the surround mounting flange. So now we, it's not a ring, it's a mounting flange is what they uh, call it. So they know what they're talking about. Me, not so much. So and then you have the screws on the bottom right here where the uh, cone uh, detaches from the bottom. And then you just remove this whole assembly out of there. And you make sure it's nice and clean, nothing in there. And then you have these lineup uh, pins that will help you align the voice coil properly because if you don't, it's not gonna uh, have a good result. You put the new drop in in there, bolt it down basically, and you're good to go. So how cool is that? Oh, and the different pages, it looks like it's in uh, different uh, languages. So anyway, very cool on that. And we will go ahead and carry this over and uh, weigh it real quick so you can see what it weighs out at. Let's see what it weighs out at. It's gotta be a solid. 60 pounds at least. Oh. All right, here's the result. 64 pounds. And this is for the 12. So I would guess the 10 would probably be 62 and the 15 would be close to 70. All right, so that's going to conclude the tour. I think I talked about everything there is to talk about with this subwoofer. And remember, if you want us to become a dealer for Kicker, drop some comments in the um, comment section below. Also hit up Kicker and tell them you want Down For Sound to be a dealer for their products. It'll help us get the ball rolling on possibly offering a brand as great as this. But anyway, go ahead and cut this video off. If y'all have any questions about it, you can post them in the comments below. I'm sure Kicker will be uh, watching this video, so let them know what you think about the sub. Appreciate you watching. If you need anything, hit us up, downforsoundshop.com. And we'll see you in the next one. Later. What's happening, guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, under the Life of Price, and also Down For Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram, and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there, so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.